I came down to Cardiff in 1991 and I did my midwifery training. I'd previously done nursing in Edinburgh. I had a fantastic training at Landuck Hospital. Years later, I knew that within me that there'd always been this um, desire to do international work, but I didn't quite know how to get there. And by now I was really happy with a great job uh, working on Labour Ward um, at Landock. Had my flat and I was kind of sorted. I had an opportunity to go out to the Gambia in 2008 with um, the professor of um, OBS and Gynae at here in UHW, that was Professor Alison Fiander, and she took me out for a week and that was my first inroad into seeing what development work was like and it just blew my mind. I went to the Gambia, I went to a maternity hospital and I really sensed that, that there was something to do out there. I met um, Anne Gloag, who's the, the founder and the CEO of, of Freedom from Fisher Foundation, based in Scotland, and she took me on a whistle-stop tour of her projects in Africa at the time. I left in 2008, left Cardiff, went out to Sierra Leone, and helped set up the maternity unit, brand new maternity unit. I did that for three years, and then I, got the job as a clinical projects director for all the, the country projects that we were running. So that was Sierra Leone, Malawi and Kenya. And we were starting uh, to look at Madagascar. So I started moving around four countries. What we want to do is offer care, good quality care to women who've had obstetric fistula. And obstetric fistula is a terrible thing we don't get in this country because we have good maternity services. What Freedom for Fish they do is offer treatment and care. So it's not just the physical care of doing an operation and repairing the fistula, it's emotional, psychological, spiritual care that we offer. And we bring these women in, we have them in for a month, uh, they have all their, we, we resolve all their medical issues, we get them sorted and, and then we do education and empowerment projects. These developing maternity services. So in Sierra Leone, hence, we, we started this maternity service and I was one of the international midwives that went out. There was four of us, one from Australia, one from England, one from um, South Africa and myself. And what we did was we took uh, 13 brand new midwives out of college in Freetown in Sierra Leone and we started working alongside them. And what I found at that stage was all those years of being in Cardiff, being mentored, being preceptored, being watched how I was developing. When we were learning to coordinate a labour ward, we had, you would never be left to do it unless you had a mentor with you. So we were watched as F grades very carefully and nurtured into the position until you're ready to take charge. And all those years of that plus supervision meant that I understood the principles behind good quality care. And that's what I really adopted with International Midwives. How can we take all that package of the training and the supervision and all the input we'd had and put it in a, in a development fragile setting? And that's what we managed to do. We, met, we, we, we chose leaders and we walked with them into the midwifery world. The majority of the midwives that we'd, we'd taken on had never delivered a baby. And they never delivered a baby in their training because the person that delivered the baby got the money from the mother. So the midwives were reluctant to let students deliver. So that's why it took three years to really get that up and running um, before I was able to leave handover um, to national staff and, and, and then start moving around other projects. In that journey, it sounds as if it was a beautiful journey, it was the hardest journey of my life because there was lots of blockages to that working well. They, they were working in countries with corruption that see things in a very different thing, a different way than we do here. The, there's a lack of standards. If you've got no standards that you, you work by, how do you know if you're actually achieving anything? And accountability. So I think those two words are the ones that I had, had drilled into me since I was a nurse in Edinburgh and as a midwife, was standards of care, quality within that, 
and accountability. Now you take standards out, you take accountability out and you're left with something that's very jaggy, that doesn't function properly, that allows the women to have no rights. So it was all about accountability, it was all about training and it was all about putting systems in. And I did a lot of that based on what I'd learned here in Cardiff. Um, we couldn't put in supervision at the level that we had here, but we did put in um, reviews and we did put in, especially I was delighted to put in um, clinical review and looking at when things were great, think when we'd worked, um, we had stories of outcomes, incredible outcomes from, from what could have been a, a bad situation. And we also looked at things that were really bad outcomes and how, again, we could do them better. And we taught the staff that in doing that, you're setting the scene, you're learning and you're improving the standards of care. Getting back in, going through study days, working alongside um, midwives that I'd known for years, I found that it's been a remarkable reintroduction into the quality of what we do here in Cardiff. But I found that ma the marriage of the international and the national, yes, it's complex, but actually women are women. And once you understand their particular needs and, and you offer them, you know, the best of what you can offer them in the system you're in, you know, it, you know, it's quite satisfying. So I'm satisfied being back here. What an amazing NHS we've got. And if people need to, people that are anti it need to wake up to the fact that it's got constraints. But it's so much better than, than millions of people, what they're offered. So I guess that's, that's the big shove for me to get back out and do a wee bit more is, I don't think my journey out there's finished. There's a, a lot more people that need B negative blood and need systems around them in order to get there. That's part of my story really.